service brake system. So you know how much I hate Torx bolts. There's four of these little, probably really technically screws, not bolts. But they are sandwiched between the chassis of the vehicle and the part that you need to get. So you have to get very creative to remove them unless you want to completely disconnect all the brake lines there and have brake fluid spewing in your face while you do this. <laughs> Reason 999 why I hate automotive engineers. Service brake system, almost for sure, is going to be right under here. Whether you're a Chevy truck or SUV, it's all going to be in the same spot. So if you roll under where I was pointing to, it's this component here, but it's just this little part on the top. So this is one of those just terrible designs. This is the component you're trying to get out. And there are four Torx bolts or screws on the top that hold it down. And then once you remove them, then you should be able to pry it up. Like that. And you can get it out of there. You see it's got this electrical, which I already pried off. And then this one here. i got to figure out the trick to releasing it. It looks like you might just push there, but this red thing may be a safety lock too. Anyway, I'll try to get that out of here. All right, so there's actually three harnesses. Again, terrible engineering. Why you need three harnesses instead of one on a part like this. This is where the engineers, when they're designing this stuff, they're designing it off the car and they're not thinking at all that this is the area you're working in. You're having to lay under the car. There's no room here barely a hand thickness to reach into here and try to work on all this stuff so two of them are just pull down the plastic and pull them off this one this one you see that red piece is like a safety you have to pull that down with a screwdriver it was really tight and then I had to push on it with a screwdriver to get that off of there just didn't want to come off but it's off now. After the 8 to 12 hours that it takes to get this out of the car, no, it doesn't take that long, but it's, you see where these bolts are that hold it in. And you've got about that much clearance above them, so it's really difficult. Uh, it's held on with like silicone RTV, so just, you're gonna have to cut it and just be careful that you don't stab yourself doing it. But things they could have done to make this a whole lot easier for you is have regular bolts here instead of torque screws because bolts you could get the socket on and just turn whereas torque screws as you know you got to kind of get it perfectly in there and there's really only one way it'll go on. And then it doesn't give you much leverage and they're actually torqued down pretty tight okay now you're 13 hours into the job and you've gotten this top off which is just rtv'd on apparently but they must have some special rtv that resists being cut by razor blades resists being cut by knives and of course any kind of prying is completely futile so what you need to do is find where there's a bad solder joint and fix it. And there should be a relay solder joint on here. It's normally the relay that goes bad. I'm guessing right there is the relay solder points. None of them look particularly bad, but I'm going to go ahead and touch them up. like that 
so those don't short each other out. The idea is to heat up the post and then touch the solder to the post. I may need to clean the tip and flex this to get it working. So then you should use some rubbing alcohol to clean that off of there. And then we'll go ahead and RTV the cover back on. I brought it home and touched up those points there with the soldering iron at home, which was cleaner and got hot and melted the solder right away. The one at the shop was obviously dirty and wasn't getting hot. And then you see cleaned and alcoholed that so it's ready to go back on. I'm going to do clear RTV and try to run a bead continuously around here. up any spots that you have missed. Best you can. And then you want to let it skin for a couple minutes here in Texas with it being like 90 degrees it probably you know five-ish minutes is fine if you're in a little cooler climate you might want to go 10 or 15 to get it kind of skinned but you want to give it just a little bit the time to set up before you press it down so that it has some substance to it. After a couple minutes have passed, it's kind of set up a little bit of a skin to it. And I've got it lined up so I can just flip it over onto here. Hopefully without destroying too much of the RTV. squish it so much that the RTV oozes out everywhere but you do want to make sure that it has sealed all the way around Just let that dry overnight I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this on the truck my initial plan of only using one or two bolts has been foiled because this is a gasket right here, so it's going to need equal clamping force on all four locations, unfortunately. So that's going to be a pain in the butt. I'm not going to be able to film it. it. 
it's just in a spot where you can't really see what I'm doing but basically I'm going to be laying this back over where it goes and then putting these bolts in and tightening them down again it's kind of a blind operation some places I can get that in there to use some places I was literally having to use something like this with the bit on it so it's not in a great location for filming is what I'm getting at but we shall see I'm making an executive decision here this looks like it's RTV it looks like what they did was put it on and just let it dry and are using it as like a semi reusable removable gasket rather than putting the RTV on and then mounting it to the vehicle I hope that's right but that's what this looks like this looks like this dried before they ever put it on the vehicle because if I have to cut that off of there and put new RTV on I don't know how cleanly it will stay because of again because of the location and trying to wiggle this into place and the moment of truth no brake light you see we still have zero odometer <laughs> So the ABCM fix must have fixed that. I still have a really soft pedal, so let me do an ABS bleed and regular bleed and see if I get air out of anywhere. <laughs> 